What is up, y'all? So we just found out there is a giant clearance fishing section. Well, I guess it's clearance section, but they have a lot of fishing stuff here at Academy Sports. We're gonna go through there today, try to find some cool stuff to go fish with, and then see what we can catch on the clearance stuff. 297, 397, 497, 597, 697. It's all in like this clearance rack here in the middle. And I don't exactly know what this means either. Semi, uh, 50 percent off additional. Maybe it's cheaper than, I don't know. All right, so we did the math calculations. This all should be around $25. Pretty much what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be interesting. I kind of took a peek, but I don't really know what's in here. But what I'm gonna do, maybe we just start out with this one. All right, I don't even know where we stopped. That was some stuff happened. What we're gonna do, see 297. I'm gonna pick this thing up. I'm gonna not look in here. And whatever we land on is what we're gonna buy. So this is, oh my gosh. Wait, what? This is 697, I think that's in the wrong bin i don't even know if these bins are like organized okay this is <laughs> well out of the 297 bin we got a 497 i just think these are kind of all mixed up i don't know we're just going to kind of go bin by bin whatever the price whatever this is our first thing this is kvd perfect plastic uh blue crawl ned ocho so 497 i guess that's our first clearance pick now is that 497 and 50 percent off of that or i don't know 397 67. All right, so from that we got these right here. Look at this. This is for 67 cents. These things are definitely not organized. That was out of the 397. So so far we got these tiny little. Uh, what do you even call it? Leveling up a little here. 497. All right, uh, we got a spinner base. This is 597. Dude, we're gonna spend way more than I thought we would. But this is a War Eagle finesse spinner bait. We could definitely do some damage with this in Florida. Let's just go quickly here. 597, first thing I touch. Oh, wow. Hold on. We're going to redo that. 597 spinner bait. Freaking spinner bait. All right, what do we got here? Similar to what we just picked out, these are some big bite base pro series. Uh, 67 cents. Panfish special made in Guatemala. Guatemala. How many did we do? Oh, I only have one more left. Okay. 697. This is where the big hitter should come from, I think. Let's see if I can grab something good out of here. What is this? All right, now this could actually get pretty interesting. We have a striking tour grade uh, buzz bait here. Three eighths of an ounce. If there's anything I know, it's that like in Delaware, where I'm from, something like this, there, there'd just be no chance. We'd have to wait till like April, probably May, June, July. But uh, yeah, we're in Florida, so maybe we get a little buzz bait action going. I freaking love top water, especially buzz baits. This is actually pretty cool. So let's see what we got here. So we got buzz baits, big bite baits, big bite baits. Those might help us get some cool. I mean, there's some pretty cool panfish here in Florida. I've actually never used this brand uh, for Ned rigging. So that might be interesting. And then, yeah, we got an all spinner bait. I'm kind of curious though how much like this originally was. This is $6.97 for freaking buzz bait. Seven, eleven. We got like 20. I'm not like the math guy. We got like 20-ish dollars of stuff here. It's like a good selection too. But yeah, man, that was actually pretty cool. We don't really have that in Delaware or anything, so. Also in clearance, uh, we got fish in a barrel. That's actually pretty cool, dude. Bass, musky. Rainbow trout. I guess it's kind of like the monkey barrel thingy. What else we got? We got some water bottles, some backpack action. Um, pong. Interesting. Oh, dude, we actually got some rods over here too. What is this? This is a All Star AS Classic. Interesting. That's fifty dollars. I guess that's an Academy brand. Over here too, we have a bunch of these. I think this is. It's gotta be Academy brand too, right? Ninety-four dollars. Jeez. Oh no, it's 49 now. This is a trout redfish special. That's actually pretty cool, dude. Let's see, anything else fishing? It looks like we got some blankets. Oh, dude, it goes on and on for the freaking clearance. As far as fishing goes, we got a mug. All right, so if you guys watched the last video, we were actually at this little lake kind of place right here. This is like a public park place kind of thing. It's got a little boat ramp. I did not catch anything out of around here. Apparently this is like a pretty popular spot. There's usually a lot of people fishing here. Looks like there's a lot of people that put their boats in here today. If there's one thing I do not like, it is getting skunk, especially at a new body of water where I just felt like I had so much potential to get bit. It is now personal though, between me and this body of water. So today we're doing something I'm a little bit nervous about. We are gonna be taking the Old Town Sportsman PDL120 deep in the trenches of the alligator infested Florida lake waters where hopefully, I mean, it's Florida, dude. There's a potential always for like a freaking giant, man. Like 10, 11, 12, 13 pounder. I do not like 
That little wasp is flying around. Excuse me, sir. So here's the thing though. Since I've got this like kayak rack, I've never actually taken it off before myself. I've never taken it off at all. Since I put that kayak up there, it's been there since Delaware. This should be kind of easy-ish, but uh, yeah, I don't know. <sighs> all right, y'all ready for this? Easy peasy. It's a freaking big Oh, dude, I haven't seen this thing. It's so long. At least like the top of it. Oh my gosh, now we're looking naked up here. Shout out to my wonderful girlfriend, Kelsey. So she actually bought me a pair of Crocs just to like take the dog out, kind of as like a meme. You know, take the dog out, do like water activities. Well, I left those in the camper. So today we're going to be rocking some nice rainbowy, uh, beautiful Crocness. I feel like I fit in in Florida though. Everybody down here rocks Crocs. I don't know about the rainbow ones. <laughs> All right, y'all, if you guys have been around the channel for a while or if you guys haven't been, uh, I don't know if you've seen this yet or not. As I said, this is an Old Town Sportsman PDL 120. So we have this little rudder right there. I have a control over there for that. Kind of helps the steering. We have the pedal. Uh, I'll show you guys all this when we get out there. I just want to make sure I don't see anything right now. Low key, just like a little, little sketched out about the gator situation. Somebody just came in the ramp though and they were fine. Oh boy, it's going away without me. All right, here we go, baby. Kayaking first date is reborn. Gator check, gator check. Oh, there's a boat. The wind, oh my gosh, the, the wind is like perfect. It's like not any. Whew. All right, so this is what we're gonna do, man. I'm pretty sure this lake is deep-ish. Well, first of all, we're gonna put the phone away. If you guys remember, the second time I ever took this thing out, dude, I uh, dropped it in a freaking swamp. I was. It's literally searching for it for 30 minutes. Somehow, uh, miraculously, the iPhone gods are on my side. That phone still freaking works. All right, this is pretty deep here. Put this doohickey in there. Now this, I was doing this all wrong, apparently. I remember Old Town reached out and they were like, you're not doing it right. I was like, oh my gosh. Again, though, seriously, shout out to Old Town for sending me this thing. This is a freaking beast. I'm so excited to like, like we're gonna be fishing with this in so many different places. All right, um, huh. How do we do this? Dude, look how easy this is. So I had to put the bar through. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Dude, look at this. It's actually locked down. When I was using this the first couple times, it was kind of like wobbly. I, I literally did not know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm freaking doing. Oh geez, I just, yep. Tailbone on the Yeti. Oh, one thing, man. I gotta freaking stay hydrated. <sighs> that swig is for y'all. I feel good, but low key. I do sort of feel like I'm in a Jaws movie. Just like waiting to get ambushed. I think this is actually a dry box or something right here. Okay, yeah, no, keys are going in that. Literally, these are the keys to my life. I think my phone can fit in that too. Yo, this kayak is gonna save me here. Watch, there's actually like a hole down there. <laughs> it's all going through. Lock that on up. Wow. So when I bring this out, rudder goes down. Now we can steer. Now we have access to this whole lake in a kayak that I can, okay, we're gonna have to maybe go up a little bit more. I'm like leaning back as I'm pedaling. All right, and then this is the cool thing. I think I actually have something to screw in this, but this kind of like directs us. We turn right, we go right, turn left, we go left, and this is, oh my gosh, dude. This is literally so much better when it's actually on right. Holy crap, we are moving and grooving. Look at that. Got a little wake behind us. It's like about 90-ish degrees out today. Now, see, if alligator wanted us, I don't know, like the tendencies. All right, that's a stick. I thought that was something. There's also like giant water snakes and Freaking, what are those giant like boas or something that literally eat the alligators? I don't know if I sound like I'm like super scared, but dude, I'm just a kid from Delaware, man. We can literally wade in any kind of water. The scariest thing you're gonna find is like a non-poisonous snake. Let me know down in the comments below, like, am I good on this kayak? Like, I know they can jump up, but can they jump like out of water at you? Or do they need like land to touch to jump? I don't know, if there's one thing I know, man, lily pads are a good place to find fish, but also, Alligators like pads too. This low key though, it's looking kind of juicy. This is another thing about having like this kind of kayak. I can literally like stand up. I mean, literally just about like zero wobblage. <sighs> I gotta say, go on. I just gotta throw this a little bit, man. 
This looks. This just looks good. I was talking to a local who was taking his kayak out. There was a couple locals at that boat ramp. They all had uh, like pontoon boats, but the one kayaker, he had a fishing rod. He said he caught two, but it's just like super cold water, which, yeah, it feels like, I mean, it's not cold. Maybe for Florida, that's some chilly stuff. Oh my gosh, look at all these pads. Can't help it, man. I gotta throw this Senko. Oh, this is deep. What the heck? I did not think this water was this deep. I'm just gonna kind of tetris my way here through these pads oh this is just so cool to be like mobile out here on the water every time i've ever come down to my sisters i haven't had like my kayak with me well i didn't even have this one at the time i had that little red one which is like a death trap <laughs> especially out here in florida but i've never like been able to get on these lakes there's so many bodies like literally i open google maps and there's like a thousand bodies of water i don't know how many of them i could put the kayak in but we're gonna freaking put it in. Definitely bad, let me know. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you guys wanna see more kayak stuff. Oh, let's go to the left here a little bit. It's just a new body of water. We're just gonna have to figure this out. The other thing about like these lakes and these Florida fish, I don't know when like they spawn here. When I was fishing uh, a couple of videos ago, when we were down south at those crazy bass lakes, apparently those fish already spawn, which is like, what the heck? It's freaking, what well, it was January? It's like February. It's just so different, man. We don't get like fish spawning action until what, like May, June-ish in, Delaware. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe these fish are on beds. Maybe they moved off because it's cold. Maybe just, uh, you know, I don't know. We're, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna bunch this Sanko around a little bit. Then we're gonna get to using the baits that we actually got. Hello? Definitely, man. I mean, if you're looking for a new kayak for fishing, don't get me wrong. I mean, you can fish with really any kind. I hate when people say, Oh, you can't fish if it there's pedals or a motor or something on the kayaks. Because they got some crazy motorized, battery-operated kayaks now. Don't listen to those people, though, man. You can literally fish with a freaking Walmart inflatable. Well, you know, if you have a little money to spend and you're looking for something nice. Yeah, I cannot say enough good stuff. Like, this thing is sick, dude. Oh, and also, I don't know if I said this or not, but there's reverse. On some of these, like, pedal kayaks, you have to, like, flip a switch, and it's, like, the... I forget what kind of drive system it is. But this one, you literally, it's just, like, a... You're riding a bicycle. And you get a nice little full-body workout while you're doing it, man. Make them rainbow crocs work. I want to head over there eventually, too. I think we're going to fish all along the stretch. We might go back. Kind of freaks me out a little bit in that cove, but... Ooh, this actually looks good, too, up here. A nice little, like, canal area. Oh my god, that's a big turtle. All right, well, I've been looking in the usual spots that I would think fish would be in. I just, I, as I said, man, I'm a dude from Delaware. Oh gosh, that was another turtle, right? I've seen a lot of like boils, but I think they're all turtles. Let's cast. Okay. Something over there is moving. You'd think the Senko would be the way to go. Let's try it over this way. This GoPro freaking head bout, dude, is squeezing my noggin. Usually use the chesty. Oh, that's a crazy looking bird over there. Okay, now this, if anything looks like gator territory, this is it right here. Okay, okay, okay. I was not filming. I was just on the phone with Kelsey. I got a fish to bite under this dock. It wasn't a big one. I uh, made a, <laughs> made a little crucial mistake here in Florida, man. My water was not filled all the way up. I think every time I go out to fish now in these Florida weather stuff, I just definitely got to bring enough water, man. It gets hot. I was skipping this under here. There we go. Let's see if there's any more down there. Felt like a good fish, man. I love fishing with this freaking spinning combo. 
Whew, all right, we've been going at this uh, way, way too long. Uh, we're gonna switch over to the baits that we actually are supposed to be using here from this challenge. All right, so what do we have? These tiny little big bite baits. Those could be interesting. Maybe I'll try one of those real quick, see if there's any like smaller things. Just like super fast around these pads. You never know, I mean, there could be, I don't know where we are in Florida, there could be like cichlids and, I don't know. Red ear sunfish have a pretty decent sized mouth. This little dude looks interesting right there. Senko, you let me down, man. What's she look like? That's pretty nice. There's like a bunch of bait fish that were out and about. I mean, we'll see what happens, right? I'd love to catch something on this. Oh, I just got bit. Dude, did I just literally get bit? I'm getting bit, or is that the bottom weeds? Oh, that's grass. <laughs> Alright, we got a super grassy bottom. I mean, that, there should be fish in this stuff. The thing is, I don't, I don't want to be making excuses or anything, but like the second day I got here in Florida, it was the, the coldest day ever in Florida, apparently. Like it was a giant cold front, got down to like freezing temperatures in Florida, which is kind of crazy. Fish just kind of seem to be like, ever since then the water got a lot colder, I guess. And these fish are just not fishy. Or maybe they are just being fishy. Oh, that's grass, right? If I was a fish, I would eat this. Should we throw the buzz bait? I'm throwing the buzz bait. Put this on hold here for a second. That was a lucky sneeze. You know, sometimes when not eating the stuff you think they'd bite, you gotta go to the stuff where you don't know if they'd bite it. Science, right? Honestly, too, I really like never throw buzz bait. Where's the scissors at? We got the kitchen scissors out here on the boat. All right, as long as we can avoid these lily pads. Oh yeah, Let's see how she looks. Oh, great start. Oh, we're gonna catch a fish on one of these freaking baits. All right, what am I doing? Let's go fish the shaded side of the lake. All right, here's what it's come to. So we put on the little spinner bait. There's not really any wind. Okay, I see stuff moving over here. We're just gonna chuck this. I've been hoping to find like a school of bait fish getting chased, which I think I've been finding, but just haven't really got to chase it very well. We're trying to chase the stuff that's getting chased. Oh, that's beautiful. This is just like professional bass fishing 101 right here. It looks so good. I mean, if there's one thing I do know, the spinner baits can catch the biggins. Where the heck are those schools at? The sun is like freaking blinded me, dude. Oh, again, man, this is just the first day fishing video. You never know what in the heck is going to happen. Through a lot of things that worked in Delaware, I thought it would have worked here. I mean, have worked in Florida before, but new lake, new problems. <laughs> just being out here, though. Let's make it all worth it, dude. Freaking beautiful lake. We pretty much like went through the whole thing too. Not all those canals all the way back there. I actually did see the other day when I was fishing over there, um, there were people with cast net, little kids, and they were cast netting a bunch of random crap. They even got a bass in it. That's like another reason why I wanted to come back here. I know there's freaking bass in here, dude. Oh, these trees look so sick. Look at these houses too. Like right on the dang water. Yeah, no, I have an idea. We're gonna catch a freaking fish. Oh, that was my rod. I was like, what the heck is that? We got these Ned Ochos, 497 from the 497 bin. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. I think I should have. All right, we're not playing games anymore, man. When the Ned rig comes out, things are about to go down. Hello? What the heck do I have? Um, okay, I've seen a video on TikTok like this before where a dude was snagged and he brought it up and it was a giant gator. Hello? Oh, 
This is where days are made or broken. I just broke off the dead rig. I thought I was like, oh, that's my chance. You can tie another one back on, but we're gonna catch a freaking fish, dude. This challenge will be completed. We ventured too far. We are too thirsty to go home without a freaking fish, dude. Oh my gosh, I mean, just look at what we're fishing, too. This looks so good. I don't know if this looks spinnerbait good, but in general, I mean, look, we got that wood right there, all this little reeds. Just let me know, man. If you guys were here, what would you be throwing? That's a freaking fish, dude. On the buzz bait. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. This is one I've been waiting for. Maybe not a giant. Oh, that's actually a good fish. Get up here. You're not getting out of here. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. On out of all the baits. Please tell me I am recording the freaking, oh gosh, buzz bait right in the side of the mill, dude. Let's go. I thought yesterday when I saw us, I don't know why, I just thought like top water along that. Let's go, dude. Oh my gosh. If you guys could go down there, hit that freaking thumbs up button. Oh gosh, I almost just lost that rod. Oh, let me get a picture of this guy. Oh my gosh. I'm slowly learning out here, man. Hope you guys can see that. I don't know where the GoPro's pointing. I'll let this dude go. Thank you so much, buddy. The thing is like, first of all, okay. We're learning about the kayak. I am having a freaking blast on this thing. We've pretty much navigated like this whole terrain area. We didn't go all the way over there. and We didn't go up those canals over there. Oh my gosh, hello. Yo, that looks so fun. Yo, this man's like, Making some waves out here. You wanna know just where?